implicit derivation. Show that the second derivative of x square over a square plus y square over b square equals to 1 can be written as b to the power of 4 divided by a square y cube. So let's do the derivative first and then find the second derivative, right? Here a and b are constants. So when we do derivative with respect to x, we get d dx of x square over a square plus d dx of y square over b square equals 2 d dx of 1. Now, since a square is a constant, derivative of the first term is 2x over a square, correct? plus derivative of this will be 2y over b square dy dx. So we have applied the chain rule here, right? Equals to 0. Now we can isolate and find what dy dx is. So we get dy dx is equals to, so we'll take this term on the right side, which is minus 2x over a square, and then we'll multiply by b square over 2y, right? And with that, we can simplify it a bit and then write down this derivative is negative. And we get b square over a square times x over y, correct? So that is the derivative. And now we have the derivative. Let's find the second derivative. So we'll continue. And we say, well, dy dx for us is equals to minus b square over a square times x over y. Now to find the second derivative, we take derivative again on both the sides. So we get d2y over dx square equals 2. Derivative of this. So the first term is constant, so we can keep it outside, which is b square over a square times d dx of x over y, right? Now, we'll continue. So we have b square over a square, and derivative of this will be, we can use quotient rule also. So let's do quotient rule, which is square of the denominator, which is y square. Derivative of the first term, which is x, derivative of x is 1, 1 times y is y, so we get y here, minus first term and derivative of the second term, so we get x times dy dx, correct? So that is what we get here. Now, so that is that is the answer on this side. Now what we need to do is figure out what this dy dx is. Now dy dx is known to us which is b square over a square times x over y, correct? So we'll put that dy by dx here and simplify. So we get this equals to minus b square over a square times so let me write this as 1 over y square first here and a bracket for y minus whatever I'm going to get here so y minus x times dy by dx dy by dx is negative so I make this as positive b square over a square times b square over a square times xy times x over y. So this is what I get, right? Now we have to simplify this to that particular answer. So that is the whole exercise. So let's say this is equal to now minus b square over a square times 1 over y square, right? Multiply it, right? So we'll just cross multiply it. So we get a square y square plus b square x square divided by a square y. Do you get it? So that is what we get here and then we can simplify it further and we know b square x square b square if you do that b square x square times a square y square is actually equals to a square b square. Do you understand? So this numerator if you see the question here, I'm running out of space and so I'm not really getting in there. I'm just telling you how to get it. 
Now b square x square plus a square y square is equals to 1. So we cross multiply. So we find that b square x square plus a square y square is a square b square. So this numerator is actually a square b square, right? So let me write that. So we get b square over a square times 1 over y square and within brackets the numerator here is a square b square and the denominator is a square y. Do you get that? Now you can see this is equal to what we wanted minus and when you simplify this you get a square and a square cancelled off. Okay? And we have y squared times y gives me y cubed, right? We have a squared in the denominator and b times b squared is b squared times b squared is b to the power of 4, correct? And therefore, we get this answer as minus b to the power of 4 over a squared y cubed. What I did was, in between, added one step. And let me show you that step here now. I'll put it in a box here. Okay, so for the benefit of my students, let me do it in a different ink. So what I'm trying to do, I'm taking common denominator here, a square, b square, and cross multiplying. So I get b square, x square, plus a square, y square, divided by a square, b square, equals to 1. Do you see that? Now, b square x square plus a square y square is given to me here. b square x square plus a square y square. That should be equal to 1 times a square b square. So therefore, I wrote all this term as a square b square. Do you see that? And then simplified. Got it? That's how we get the result. So, I hope you understand and appreciate it. And it helps you. Thank you.